Hey everybody, I'm Becky Adams here with a fun video to share with you for Stamp and Scrapbook Expo. So today I have a layout to create and I'm using the Simple Stories Posh collection and this one photo. And this is a photo of my daughter. She's writing a segue for the first time at a school competition that she was at. and. It's a kind of a busy and not the best quality photo, but I fell in love with it when my husband first sent it to me. So I wanted to document this memory. Um, I've pre-cut a few, a few pieces of pattern paper to get started here. So I cut, I obviously printed my photo and I print my photos at home on a Canon Pixma photo printer. And then I cut a mat out of this coral pattern paper. It's got these fun hearts on the back, but we're going to use this coral side for this project. So I have a couple other pattern papers, and as you can see, hopefully you can see that on camera, I've stitched around the perimeter of these. Um, I also have this journaling card that I cut from one of the pattern papers in the Posh collection. And what I did is I drew a line here with the pencil because I didn't really want these numbers here and had my daughter um, write a couple of her thoughts on writing the segue. So I'm just going to put this right here. I drew that pencil line so that I can, or so that not only she had kind of a guideline to where to write her journaling, but also so I have a guideline on adhering the photo. And then behind that, I was thinking that I wanted a couple of block, big blocks of pattern paper. But if I do that, the, the edges kind of feel empty to me. And rather than pattern paper being around all four corners, I thought that it might be fun to just bring in some additional color and pattern paper on a couple of the corners. So I cut these pieces from pattern paper and as you can see I stitched around the edge of them again just with my sewing machine and we're gonna go ahead and adhere these in the corners before I adhere anything else to my background and then I've got these this floral piece that I kind of want to tuck right underneath that so there we go and now I have a better eye of where I want to, or a better idea of where I want to place these bigger boxes of pattern paper. So I'm thinking I want to do something like this. I don't think I want them perfectly straight. That seems, you know what, actually, I was going to say it seems too boxy, but I kind of like the clean the clean lines there. Let me just pull my photo over here and see how that fits. You know what? I actually like that. When I initially was had the idea for this layout, I I was thinking that I wanted them to be kind of offset a little bit, but I don't think that that's how I want it. I like those clean the clean lines. Okay, now that I have those two pieces of pattern paper in place, I'm going to go ahead and add just one more little bit of pattern paper. And if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I love pattern paper. In fact, it's a little bit unusual for me to even start with a cardstock background. I haven't done that for, for a while. I love my pattern paper. I'm just going to go ahead and tuck these stripes right here underneath. Of either edge of my square here. Now I think we're I'm ready to adhere my photo. So I'm just going to go ahead and adhere that right to the center. Of the layout and I'm actually going to put it a little closer to the bottom than I am to the top 
because I want to leave room up here for my title. I'm thinking a title along the top here and then some embellishment over here in the corner. Before I do my embellishing though, I'm going to quickly add the date stamp because I know that I want the date stamp right here under the journaling and I don't want to accidentally cover up cover up the spot that I had in mind for my date stamp. So I've pulled a few things to embellish with from the the Posh collection, but before we get started on that, I want to make sure to get my title in place. And the title for this page is just going to be Segway Fun. And I used letter stickers for the Segway portion of the title, and then I hand cut the word fun. So I'm thinking that it will go some way, some what like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and glue my title down. Okay, now that I have the main portions of my layout um, adhered and put in place, it's time to start with a little bit of embellishing. So when I first saw this collection, I fell in love with this little camera and you find it several times throughout the collection. Um, I chose to use this one that I cut from, I fussy cut from a piece of pattern paper. And I want to add that in right here somewhere. I am going to pop it up. This is just a bit of fun, fun foam that I had. I've just got some adhesive there for some of the easy tear tape. Thinking the camera will go right in there somewhere. I really like this word, this sparkle, and it comes in the chipboard pack. I'm thinking it will go in he here somewhere. In fact, I think that I like it just right like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that. And then right here in the center of the camera, I always love to add, you know, a, a brad or an enamel dot or something like that. In um, Simple Stories has come out with these awesome, they're called new brads and they're just self-adhesive. They don't have the prongs on the back. They just have adhesive on there. So um, I love that they don't have the prongs that you have to mess with. So I'm thinking one of these six in the middle will work well. I'm just trying to decide which one. I think I like that pop of teal there. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of embellishing up here at the top as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the fun foam once again here on the heart so that it kind of balances out. Since I've got dimension down here, I also want a little bit up here. Okay, and then I've got these two um, cluster of flowers two flower clusters and an arrow left. I don't know for sure where I want that arrow to go. But I'm gonna go ahead and take the adhesive off of these because I know that I want one of these down here and one up here. I'm not sure on that. We're gonna set that aside for just a minute and add in a little bit more gold. These are just self-adhesive sequins. So I'm just gonna put a few in each corner around the embellishment clusters. I'm going to do a mixture of small and large. And I'm also going to keep to watch and try and keep, and this doesn't always work, but I try to keep an odd number of sequins in each cluster. And I'd like to add another one or two of these brads. I guess I'm just not feeling that they, this arrow is the right, or that this layout is the right project for that arrow. So I'm just going to set that aside for a minute and add a few. These chipboard hearts came from 
the chipboard collection or the chipboard sheet for the posh collection and these I am gonna put on the outside or at least some of them on the outside of my pattern paper and as a finishing touch on this layout I'm going to add just a little bit of spray mist. So I'm just going to go ahead and take some paper towels and cover my workspace a little bit. And then I'm going to take one more and cover my photo and my journaling because I know that I don't want to get any ink there. Okay, and I'm using a navy color shine from Heidi Swap. And as you've seen me do before, I'm just going to go ahead and add a few drops of ink in a few spots in the corner of around each embellishment cluster. And then I think just to do one more finishing touch, I want to make sure, I think that it needs something here on the border. So I'm just going to take a black journaling pen and this is a 0.3 um, Project Life Precision pen. And I'm just gonna, not perfectly, but carefully draw lines around the edge of the layout here. And with that, I'm going to call this one finished. So thank you for stopping by the Scrapbook Expo YouTube channel and blog today. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel and our blog so that you don't miss any upcoming videos and fun giveaways and blog posts that we have for you. So thanks again for stopping by. I'll see you again soon.